everyone. Yo guys, what's up? I'm Justin, he's Tim, this is MLB Baseball Vlogs. We have a couple of outfielders who are currently on the watch on many of teams in the majors for the trade deadline. Tim, we got Michael Kadire who's been on a lot of teams' radar. You tell us about this trade. Well, Michael Kadire on the Twins right now who appear to be in a situation where they are only seven games out, but it, it does not appear like they're going to make a run this season. So Kadire becomes an attractable piece to a lot of teams because he can hit for average 296. He has some power. He, he had 32 home runs a few seasons ago. Uh, normally he hasn't hit for that much power, but he can hit for anywhere between uh, 15 and 25 home runs normally. So I think he becomes an attractable piece, and that, for that reason and the fact that he has had amazing success during the second half of the season, and he can put a team on his back if he needs to. I think some of the team, I don't think he will be traded, but I think the teams you're talking about are the Phillies, which I don't see happening because I don't think they're going to give up what it takes for this guy. Uh, the Pirates are another team who really could use another outfielder, and it's so strange to say that, but the Pirates are in contention right now. And I think maybe you even look at uh, the Giants, really, because the Giants have not been too successful hitting-wise again this season, and if you remember, last season was basically how they became how they became successful was uh, making the right move at the deadline, so... I think that they are certainly an option. I think that the Red Sox even could be an option. And I'm trying to pull up Giant Star um, to see who they have played out there. Justin, um, what do you think about Kadir? Um, I actually, like I told you before, I didn't know anything about this trade going down. I mean, Kadir is a really great hitter. I really think he's going to be really improved next year. Uh, right now, 13 home runs, 43 RBI. He's batting 292. That's a kind of a good start to start off the second half of the uh, the, the second half of the season. Yeah, uh, I think that they it could make sense for him with the Giants because the Giants could use a right fielder. I think we all know that the Giants' number one guy they're looking at is Jose Reyes. But if they cannot get him, and that doesn't appear like there's another shortstop out there that they'll go after. They're going to look to add offense, and maybe out there in right, I would certainly think that in right field, you have a better option with uh, Michael Kadar than you would with Nate Shearholtz. With the Red Sox, why it would be an option is because, A, right now, Darnell McDonald's play in left field. He's not really getting it done, and obviously you will be getting... Uh, Carl Crawford back, but in right field, J.D. Drew just appears to kind of be declining. So to add a bat in there, J.D. Drew would be a nice piece to have come off the bench, I think, especially if they were to make it to the World Series. So where, where you're in a National League park, you will really need pinch hitters. So I think that, that would give them a lot more depth. Yeah. Um, next up, we have our, the, actually the next guy who, are, like, who plays for the Mets, Carlos Beltran who has been on a lot of teams' radar. I've been hearing a lot of trade rumors on this guy. Tim, what teams could be interested in him? Well, I think we're mainly talking the same teams here, except maybe you could put the Phillies as a bit more of a contender for this guy because he could be a little more affordable. The thing is for this guy, and a reason why he might just stay with the Mets, is you have to really question what teams are going to give up for this guy. He appears to be a rental piece, but he's going to be a damn good rental piece. When he got traded in his contract year to the Astros in the second half, he tore it up in the playoffs. I think he set like a record for playoff home runs, and he got the big payday from the Mets. That hasn't necessarily worked out the way I think that they would have planned, although when he did hit 41 home runs in 06. Since then, he's dropped off 33-27, 10 home runs last year in a limited amount of games, and or uh, 7 last year, and the year before so he's had some health issues but right now he's having a pretty good season he actually because of guys uh dropping out of the all-star game ended up being a starter he had two he's hitting 285 with 13 home runs and 58 rbis this guy can even steal some bases i think less than he could the thing you gotta look at is right now i think you're talking about a guy who has declined in speed and uh range in the field so he's 
not going to be a center fielder anymore. He's a right fielder. I think that he could make sense again for similar teams. I don't see the Red Sox going after him, but it would really make sense for the Giants. Uh, the Pirates are an interesting team because Carlos Beltran, you got to wonder if he would be a good influence on a young team's dugout. And the, the Phillies really would be looking more towards a left fielder because you got Dominic Brown, our top prospect in right field, and Raul Banez is in left field who just, he, he started off the second half nicely, but he doesn't, I, I don't think, and I think most people believe that he doesn't have what it takes to uh, finish off the season, especially when he gets against these tough lefties in the playoffs. Yeah, I mean, what teams do you think could be interested in him? In Beltran, I, I think that it's the Giants. I think the Giants will make a run at this guy. Would you consider the Royals on going after him? Um, let me look at, no, the Royals are 12 games out. No. Okay, so where do you guys think Carlos Beltran will go? You guys let us know. Next up, we got Josh Willingham. This guy I just heard about today. Tim, what team actually pick him up? There, are, I heard like the Phillies are making a run for him. Do you think the Yankees could go after him? Maybe. Yeah, I mean the thing with him is he, he's looked at as more of a a very very good fourth outfielder. So teams like the Yankees could would love to have this guy because the market right now is for a right fielder. So to have a guy who has left field, he has some pop in his bat. He's only 32 years old, and I think he has a fairly affordable contract for the rest of the season. So the Yankees could make sense. I think you could also be looking at a team like the uh, Phillies would make the most sense, I think, because he's a guy that you don't necessarily have to start, and he's more affordable. Because really, I think the A's will get um, a B-minus prospect for this guy, and I think that the Phillies could afford that. And... The Phillies have payroll problems right now. They really can't afford to add a huge contract on because they're already above where they like to go. So maybe they would like to go for a Josh Blinkham type. I think that the Pirates, they could use a left fielder. With Presley and left field right now, I don't think he's going to be your uh, left fielder for the remainder of this season. But they also do have a, a, another really good fourth outfielder out there with Matt Diet. So... I think that you're looking at a situation here where he will get dealt, and there's going to be a lot of teams interested in him. Uh, you could even see, like, the Brewers maybe make a run. I think their number one focus is ha had been on getting a closure, and they got that, but I wouldn't be shocked if they added another smaller piece. Maybe you see the Angels make a run at him. That, that's a potential suit. Uh, Brendan Bosch, I think, is playing pretty well right now for the Tigers, but to add a fourth outfielder with some pop in case Avila struggles in the second half and you have to move Victor Martinez back to catcher, that could make sense. I mean, the Rays are a team that, and I forgot to mention the Rays with Carlos Beltran. They could really make a run at him, too, or even Michael Kadir. I don't think they're going to give up the prospects for him. But Josh Willingham really fits with any contender because he can play so many different or he can play left field, and I think he can play right field, too. And he's just a nice piece. He's not going to come at an expensive price, and, but he's really going to make a contribution to your team in the second half. Yeah. So, guys, what do you think about these? Will these guys end up where Tim possibly said? The Giants, maybe, for Beltron, or Michael Godard could go to the Giants? You guys let us know down in the comment section. Next up, we have pitchers. We'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.